everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. This video is going to be, this is an intro into a series, a set of painting videos, but I dislike um, multi-part YouTube set video things, so I'm trying to make them as individual videos, but they, they go together, and I'm just going to show you here the rough idea of my plan, and I'm going to be painting up these two models, and this model is this one from the model box from this month, which is the Frostgrave Ghost Archipelago, <laughs> whatever that says. He's the little reptile fella, and he's going to be the competition for model box this month. They have a monthly competition, and you can paint up a guy and and, and enter it. And this one, this one's is Rocks the Fox from model box as well. So I've been waiting to paint him for ages. So that'll be in one video, and another video will be these ceramic pots, which are by Steve Barber Models, which I got in one of the model box. I'm going to use those on the on the base, and that'll be a video. And then finally, I've got these MDF laser cut bases by Game Envy, the guys that did the Hobby Holder and this Order of the Miniature. That'll be another video. I'll leave all the links in the description below to find these videos from this one. And then in this video, we're going to be starting off painting those Game Envy MDF laser cut bases there's a I think there's a bazillion maybe two bazillion different styles you can get they'll be on the side they're different sizes available and this is just the initial release they're going to keep adding to their collection but I'll put a link to them in the description below and a 10% off discount code if anyone's interested so in this exact video I am going to be painting some prototypes that Game Envy have sent me they're still laser cut MDF bases. They're still the exact same sort of machinery they're going to be using, but these are sort of lower res than the final designs are. And so, but I still think they're pretty good even for prototypes. Now I'm hoping they're reasonably cheap. I've not seen the prices yet, but they're just MDF and they feel nice and they smell delicious. I love the smell of laser cut wood, but yeah, hopefully quite cheap because they're just MDF, right? I'm just giving you a bit of a closer up so you can see this sort of half revolution resolution imagine the final one should look better in your hand i'm just going to flick through the range that i, I was given this just as a, a sample range of what they've got available just sent me a handful actually missing some um, that i would have really really liked but you can see this one's quite cobblestone pretty suitable for sort of black plague this one looks a bit arcane -y, a bit magic-y some sort of temple potentially you're in another sort of fancy paving tile version and then this one i've painted a couple just for a practice i've got this sort of uh, metallic floor i don't know what you call that but I, you know see in spaceships right <laughs> that, that sort of thing that sort of grating i used to work in an office that had that floor but i've painted this and it was a piece of cake it took me five minutes if that and i think that's come out quite well and i added this sort of rust effect all it really was was a you know, a silver base coat, a black wash. I added the rust, just dry brushed that over, and then added a few of these little shinier silver bits as though it's, you know, taken a bit of a ding, a bit of a scratch here and there. I think that's come out pretty well. And then, as I mentioned, that they're a bit large for my models. Mine are mostly 28 mils, and this is just a bit too big for it. Although, you know, sometimes you want your hero to stand out. Then I've painted this other base. This is just some skulls. Now, I think this one is suffering from the lack of resolution. And I know they've changed this um, design entirely. So hopefully that looks a little bit better with the final designs that you'll be able to buy online. But it's still not bad. You know, it looks like a bunch of skulls. I don't know what I'd use that for. I don't really have any reason for my character to stand on a load of skulls. But Benson's um, bags eat it. I think he wants to put some of his Warhammer guys on it. And well, that was a quick demonstration of two I've painted. So in this video, I'm just picking these two. I think they'll suit the two models that I'm going to paint primarily through this set. And I'm just going to paint those. So let's begin. Attach it to my hobby holder to begin with, just so I've got a better grip and some advertisement for hobby holder because it's not enough that the whole video is about game envy stuff. Mm, doo -doo 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 -doo. We're going to start with some terracotta. That's Vallejo's. It's the game color. Now, I normally say that because it works as a primer and a base coat in one, but I don't think it matters. I'm not sure you need to prime MDF. It takes really, really well. I'm just going to paint on, at random, a bunch of those tiles. I'm going to switch to dark flesh tone next by Vallejo again, and just paint on some more random tiles. I'm just trying to make this look sort of Roman-y, just going to use a bunch of varying light, you know, like browny, orangey sort of thing. So I'm going to use tan as well. Just going to go for that sort of terracotta look, just varying shades of terracotta, I'd say. The last one's going to be Crusted Saw. That's by the Army Painter. And that's a sort of maroony red. And that's just to give, you know, some variance in these 
these tiles that are on the, on the floor and that's it really i mean you could just paint it all one color if you're in a rush it didn't take me very long i used a, a detail brush for all of that i'm also going to paint these smaller tiles down both sides the sort of pathway edging in in just that crusted saw just a, a, a deeper red and then i'm going to use deep shader that's the dark brown the reason i've used this is i basically want all the lines all the cracks between each of the tiles to be essentially black Dark brown is the best I could do. I didn't want to use black because I didn't want to, because I want to paint over the whole thing and I didn't want to discolor the tiles more than just darkening them down with brown. For the second one, I'm just going to use Wolf Grey by the Army Painter. It's got Wolf Grey um, by Vallejo. Actually, you'd have to use Sombre Grey for some reason. They don't align up. And I'm just going to paint the whole of the top. And then I'm going to use Army Painter's Blue Tone and just wash the, the whole of the top. So, and that's it. That's all I'm going to really do to that one. Nice and quick. As I, as I said, those two I showed you, they took me a couple of minutes, five minutes each. I think these don't take me any much longer. Next, I'm going to use my small Rosemary Co. smooshing brush. I'm not really sure what a smooshing brush is for, but it's a bit like a dry brush. And I'm going to use this to stipple. I think that's the word. I'm going to take all those base colors again, wipe most of the paint off the brush, and just dab it on directly on top, just a little bit. And some paint's going to catch randomly and splatter on the, the top of each tile and it's just going to sort of highlight it again just add a bit of variance make it look a little bit more random and more realistic i'm just going to do that for each of those base colors hitting the the matching tile underneath and then i'm going to just try and dry brush just down that edging a little bit but i'm not too fussed either now i've left this completely blank on purpose because i'm going to use another product that i got from that model box subscription this is serious play and they make some pretty unique i'd say like basing uh items i don't know what you describe it so this is a bit of terrain a bit of bushy grassy plant-like stuff and i thought it kind of looks like you're walking could be walking down a path with a garden say on the on the side so instead of just painting in some more tiles on the floor in another color which i could have easily done maybe a yellow like a desert yellow might look quite nice but i thought i use a bit of this base and we'll put it down the edge, covering up those tiles and just make it look like the, there's a garden off to the side or some plant or a bit of, you know, I don't know, whatever, horticultural stuff. That sounds like potentially the right word. Who knows? So I'm just trying to work out how to get it on here. And it's really, really sticky underneath. It's sort of self-adhesive, which is pretty, pretty cool. You can see it sticking to my finger. I still haven't got any of those um, tweezers people have recommended, those like opposite tweezers that... When you depress them, they they hold the iron, and when you press them, they let them go. I need to get some. My hands are way too big for this fiddly stuff. <laughs> so I'm just going to put that down, grab my craft's knife, craft knife, my exacto blade. Well, this is actually a scalpel, but whatever sharp blade you've got. And then I'm just going to cut that in half, basically. Try and get a nice straight line so I could match it up with the edging of the tiling so it just sort of kind of fits on perfectly. And then I'm going to realize my blade's not very sharp and I haven't got a very good grip and the camera's in my way and it was raining outside and Sophie was playing near me and I don't, I don't, you know, excuses, excuses. I uh, didn't cut it very well, but it, it turned out it didn't really matter. It's quite pliable. I could sort of stretch it, bend it any way I want to and basically get it to look quite straight. And then at the end of the day, it's, it's a load of plants, right? Like So they're falling over the... The path a little bit like they would probably do in real life anyway so meh and then i just used realized it wasn't long enough as you could see i missed a bit just grabbed the other half of it and just again just worked it in manipulated it got it to sit made the plants sort of merge together as well a little bit of moving and you cannot tell it's two pieces and you can't tell i messed it up and then i'm just getting my unsharp blade once again and I'm just going to cut it along the very edge of the, the base and just make it fit more perfectly. And this does take a little bit of care. And I probably, on camera for you, just show that it's it's doable. Uh, I think I probably did like 97%, if not more, on camera. I think I got it pretty spot on. Did a little bit off cam camera, just tidying up where I could see it next to my face. And that's that one pretty much done. You can see the plants sitting quite nicely. It looks, I think that looks pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I'm happy with it. It's interesting, isn't it? It's different. I've never seen these sorts of plants. I mean, quite interested in what else Serious Play make. I'll leave a link in the description below to Serious Play. Also, I'll leave one to Model Box. I'll leave, there'll be links all over the place. Do check out the description for various things. Anything you're interested in, it will be in there. I'm going to use Dead Black, just any black will do. 
and I'm just going to paint around the rim of both of these bases. That's just going to neaten it up and really bring your attention back to the top of the base where you're actually supposed to be looking, not the, the mess of the side sort of thing. But black's really going to make the top pop out. You could obviously blend it. That could be blue and the other one could be a terracotta color. But I think black you'll find makes the base pop out a little bit more and bring a little bit of attention, which does matter in this case because they're nice bases. I'm just going to demonstrate kind of what I'm going to be going on to do next, you know, adding adding the models to each. I think the wizard can be on the more arcane mosaic tiles. Oh, I did off camera, I forgot to mention, I do actually go and add a couple of dashes of just the wolf gray on random tiles on that mosaic and just make it look a little bit more realistic. Just going to show you, I've times past, I've painted the models, I've painted the bases, I've painted the pots as well. And there'll be videos in the description below for all of that. And I'll just show you how the final product looks like. That's the reptile completely done on his base with the pots as well. I think that looks absolutely fantastic. Quickly show you the fox as well. Same dealio. Um, unfortunately, I'm not, I didn't paint the fox on camera because there's no real reason to do so. There's no competition or anything, but I just wanted to do it anyway because I love this model. Now, uh, bases, absolutely love them. Really, really highly recommend them. They're the nicest bases I've actually ever painted. And, and I'd like some better ones, not the prototype ones. Hoping they're even, even cooler, but do check those out, link in the description below. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope it was interesting.